Okay, so welcome everybody. I really want to say thank you to each and every one of you. It's a great pleasure uh, to have you back in Rome for uh, Nodicon 2023. It's a great pleasure to say that we are officially opening Nodicon 2023. As you know, Nodicon is a conference series. It was started in 2019 to foster the tradition of the glorious conference started by Professor Ali Nafi in 1986 at Virginia Tech that was named the Nonlinear Vibration Stability and Dynamics of Structure Conference, but it was also a way to pay an immense tribute to Professor Nafi for his great legacy and outstanding contributions to the field of nonlinear dynamics. Of course, Nodicon is a way to reflect the broad scope of nonlinear dynamics, which is also in the scope of the journal Nonlinear Dynamics by Springer Nature. After, 2020, after 2019, of course, for reasons that are well known, in 2021 we went virtual and now we are back in a hybrid mode. So I want to welcome also all of our attendees online from 50 countries around the world. And it's again a great pleasure to say also welcome to Professor Sabrina Sarto, our provost. We have our gold sponsor, Springer Nature, MTS Testing Systems, Avio, the launcher company, Thales Alenia Space and Polytech. And the conference was also supported in different ways by the city of Rome, the mayor, Professor Gualtieri, who is a professor at our university, Sapienza University, my department of structural and geotechnical engineering, Ministry of Culture, the Italian Association of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, IMETA, and Rome Technopod, which is the innovation ecosystem that is being built up around our university being the leader in this great initiative. Nodicon 2023 is a big conference, as you may see from these key figures. The committee is 21 organizing committee members, 27 steering uh, committee members, and 42 advisory committee members from various countries. We have five keynote speakers, more than 600 participants from more than 50 countries. Presentations will be spread out across more than 80 sessions. There will be 486 presentations and 28 posters. The poster session will run tomorrow and Wednesday during the coffee break. Where do we come from? Of course, uh, more than 50 countries. We are listing the top 10 countries in this conference. No wonder Italy is the first country. Then we have the United States, India, China, France, UK, Germany, Hungary, Poland, Hungary, and um, finally we have Spain. So a lot of European countries. We will have our plenary in this uh, spectacular location, which is not a usual conference venue. We will have the first opening and then we will see the keynote uh, talks. In the afternoon, we will have, after lunch, the technical sessions in our faculty of engineering. And of course, we will have technical session in the following days until Thursday, the morning session. We have plenty of social events. As you know, we will join the Roman Forum Tour tomorrow. So right after the technical sessions at five o'clock, we will gather in front of the faculty on the stairs. We will form groups of 25 people and will guide you to, through this Imperial Forum Street, via the Forum Imperiali, to the Trajan Column, where we will actually meet our guides to walk through the whole forum area. There will be, of course, other tours even running today to the Vatican Museums and as well as we will have a special gastronomic tour tomorrow, downtown Rome. We'll have our banquet on Wednesday. So again, we will meet in front of the conference venue. We will walk after the technical sessions. The meeting time is seven o'clock because at 7.30 we will start our banquet 
And during the banquet, we will have the award ceremony, which is expected to be a very interesting ceremony. Our program today, I'm again uh, very pleased to welcome Professor Sabrina Sarto, our Sapienza Provost for Research. We will have a very special lecture as part of this opening, A Terrible Beauty, Michelangelo's Moses and the Challenge of Art by Professor Irena Baldriga from our university. And then it will follow a music interlude by a string quartet. We will have, after this opening, the technical program, so we will really talk about science, with five keynote uh, talks. We will have the first two, followed by coffee break in front of the church, as you probably have already seen, and then after the coffee break, we'll also go through three keynote talks. That will be the end of this plenary session at 1 p.m., and that's when we are going to walk to the faculty back, only a few meters, and we will have lunch in the cloister area. As you have seen, you have received two badges. Um, we have generated this uh, QR code. The red is for the registration. The green is for the banquet. You have to show it at the entrance, and of course, we need to check uh, your registration. We also invite you to download the Nodicon app where you will actually browse through the program day by day. You will see all the sessions and you can actually create your own agenda by clicking on the star. And you can see also the Zoom link in case you want to connect to the session uh, right away on Zoom. I invite you to create your agenda. It's a very efficient way since we have so many sessions. You see more than 80 sessions. So enjoy Nodicon 2023. Again, it's a pleasure to have you back in very good shape, as I can see this community is standing strong. Thank you. So Professor Sabrina Sarto is our provost for research at Sapienza University. She is a powerful lady. She's from electrical engineering, and uh, she runs a lot of projects uh, across, I think, the full spectrum of our universities and also across our university in this new initiative, which is Technopol. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Walter. Welcome uh, and good morning to everybody. It's really a pleasure to be here today. Uh, to this opening session in this beautiful uh, uh, church uh, in uh, our city. And uh, I'm, I'm really um, happy to bring you the greetings from our rector, Professor Antonella Polimeni. Um, uh, this is uh, the third edition of this important conference. Uh, and uh, I really uh, have to congratulate uh, with uh, Professor La Carbonara for the uh, strong, uh, uh, hard job uh, together with all colleagues uh, of our university, the International Steering Committee, the advisory board, uh, because uh, I uh, went inside the program uh, and I see a very strong community and a very hot topic uh, on, um, on a subject uh, which is uh, nonlinear dynamics, uh, which uh, go uh, through uh, several disciplines of uh, uh, science and technology of engineering. Sapienza, as you may know, is uh, one of the largest uh, universities in the world, in Europe, by sure. Uh, we have uh, uh, about uh, uh, 122,000 students. Um, we have all uh, faculties, apart from uh, veterinary, and um, we have 11 faculties, uh, uh, 54 departments, uh, um, uh, 3,800 uh, and more uh, professors, and more than uh, 4,500 administratives. So you may imagine the uh, dimension of uh, Sapienza, and this year Sapienza achieved uh, very important results in research because uh, uh, we had um, uh, 
12 departments uh, uh, awarded for excellence uh, by our minister, which is uh, a very important achievement with respect to the previous uh, evaluation in which we were only eight. And we have uh, several departments, a couple of departments from engineering and architecture. And this is uh, uh, this show how during this year uh, the uh, the work uh, and the uh, dedication of our um, uh, professor and researcher uh, in a, a very advanced topic uh, in research uh, has been awarded by our minister. Uh, I want to say some work uh, about uh, Rome Technobol, as um, Walter mentioned uh, just uh, above. Actually, Sapienza, during uh, this um, last year and a half uh, has been working hard to participate uh, to the most, uh, the highest number of initiatives uh, financed within the uh, National Recovery and Resilience Plan coming from Next Generation EU uh, financed by European Commission after COVID. And we currently, we are participating to 20 project five uh, national uh, 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 center, national center. Among that, there is the national center on high power computing and big data, on which there is a special spoke, which is uh, led by our university about multi-scale uh, modeling for engineering application. Uh, this confirm uh, uh, the commitment of our community to this uh, topic, and Walter, of course, uh, is involved in that. And um, as regards uh, the other project, I would like to mention, of course, uh, Rome Technopol Innovation Ecosystem, which is a project financed by our minister for um, uh, 110 million of euros uh, in uh, uh, three years. And uh, it uh, brings together the, fi the five state uh, university of our region, plus uh, the two uh, most important uh, uh, biggest uh, university, private university in Rome, plus uh, the largest uh, uh, companies uh, uh, working in the area of digital transition, energy transition, uh, uh, health and biopharma. And within this project, we have, we have activated uh, eight flagship projects on a specific topic uh, uh, proposed by university. And among that, of course, uh, we have a project on artificial intelligence and multi-scan modeling for advanced engineering applications. So all to say that, that the topic of this conference is, is really central um, in all activities which are multidisciplinary that we carry out uh, uh, inside the university. And so I really enjoy and thank you again for inviting me today. And uh, I really wish you a very pleasant week in Rome and uh, a very fruitful conference here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. Thanks for your remarks.